While glyphosate-resistant kochia was years ago confirmed in the U.S., UNL Extension Cropping Systems Specialist Greg Kruger says Nebraska has only recently had to deal with it. Kruger started working with a resistant population in a greenhouse two years ago and confirmed its resistance last year. Kruger says it's becoming more concerning that glyphosate-resistant kochia is popping up more in southwest Nebraska and in the Panhandle. He says the populations he's working with are showing strong levels of resistance compared to the recommended dose. The labeled rate is 22 ounces, and generally speaking, we'd expect a 100% control at that rate. And we do still see some populations that in Nebraska that are, are, are still highly susceptible and, and 22 ounces or, or oftentimes uh, half of that even will completely control the population. We are seeing some uh, plants that are surviving up to a gallon of glyphosate or around up greater than 128 ounces. In some cases 175, 180 or, or 200 ounces of ground up or more. So it's very high in some cases. Kruger says it's important growers know the answer to this problem isn't simply applying more glyphosate. He recommends producers use multiple modes of action, tank mixtures, and change their cropping systems when possible. Kruger says if there's a problematic field, a farmer might want to delay planting until after kochia emerges and can be controlled.